Hey, you know what I just realized? We're drawing all these monsters and they're just kind of floating there in the page. They're surrounded by empty space. I think the time and place has come to think about setting, creating a whole world, even a universe capable of hosting a monstrously epic storyline. Actually, wait, let's just keep it super simple. We'll draw sort of a bumpy line across the page and this will be our setting. Uh, we'll start by making a monster. Uh, we'll pick a high point here and we'll draw a little monster perched up there. Now, a lot of people think you have to start from the feet on the ground and build up from there. I like to start with the eyes because I know the way I'm drawing these monsters, their legs can be any length. Their legs will reach the ground. Watch this. We'll get down to the legs and we'll draw it and it'll just reach and aha! See that? This monster's taking a step. It's a hiking monster, so I guess we should add a backpack here. Hiking monsters always bring plenty of snacks. And we'll put an arm and an arm strap, and now we have a hiking monster. That's kind of cool, so let's see. We'll have another monster interacting with the setting here. This one is climbing up, and these arms can reach out and grab the hillside like that. And now we have a hiking monster and a climbing monster. And we'll do another one on the other side of the hill here, and this one Actually, what if these feet didn't reach the ground? What if this one, the action is jumping down? There's some pebbles. And then this one, a little closer to the ground, maybe when it reaches the ground, it's not the feet that reach the ground. Don't worry, they're okay. They can take a lot of tumbling, these monsters. And then sometimes we'll find these monsters as they hike across this landscape, they start interacting with each other. Hey, come on up this way. And some of them have kind of a other ideas about what's good safe hiking practice, I guess. Oh dear. Yeah, you know what this means? We need a bigger monster to kind of keep an eye on this gang and make sure nobody gets too seriously into trouble on these hills. So we'll do a big monster up here at this high point, keeping an eye on everything, making sure they're all hiking safely. We'll perch that monster on here, give him some horns. And then any little monster that's having a little trouble getting up the steep parts, well, that monster can reach up and get a helping claw from this big one. And anyone who arrives, well, they're all going to snuggle and stay warm on their camping site up here. And look at that. We've got a whole team of hiking monsters moving across this landscape. In fact, they're moving left to right, which kind of tells a story of arrival at the big monster. Now, if you want to try this at home, just take a blank piece of paper and draw that landscape line across it. And I guarantee your monsters will do surprising things all up and down those hills there. And for extra surprise, you can have a friend draw the line for you or turn your own line upside down and you'll get a new landscape. Hmm, where should we put our first monster? 